The what is the West Highland Adventure Trail and it's a journey, it's about travelling, it's about a line around the most beautiful country in the world, Scotland, and the most beautiful part of the most beautiful country, the west of Scotland. And it just so happens that the West Highland College sits astride this amazing region. We saw that line on the map and we thought, that's just a project that's got to, that's got to be done. The whole, the whole of Scotland is brilliant. I love this country. Uh, but the, the West Coast in particular is, is so full of amazing, amazing places. And, and there's so, so much of it that is, that is still kind of open for discovery as well. The what is the West Highland Adventure Trail. So this is an expedition run by the Adventure Tourism Course. Um, and it's linking all 11 learning centres of West Highland College um, together in, in one, one big expedition. Um, linking paddle sports, climbing, walking, um, and it's trying to involve as many students as possible and, and some of the local community as well to try and try and kind of uh, promote the college and promote adventure tourism in the Highlands and hopefully be a good, a good kind of learning experience for, for all the students as well and, and great fun. The concept was put forward to the Game Changer Awards, um, which is a Commonwealth Games inspired award for colleges and universities for um, ideas and projects that will encourage the legacy of the Commonwealth Games and inspire maybe future participation. We were quite astounded by that and we were just very, very pleased, very, very happy. Uh, and also perhaps a touch nervous because we hadn't actually done the expedition at that point. It, we were given the award for the concept and then we really had to put our money where our mouth was, <laughs> which we did. So the first day we paddled out from Arsay, crossed over to Egg, and then went round the back of Egg to the Bay of Lake, um, camped at the Bay of Lake there. So it was quite a long day really, so uh, guys were quite tired at the end of the first day, so took a bit of a rest on the, on the morning of the second day, then paddled across to Rum. And by that stage it was absolutely flat calm and, and just beautiful, beautiful kind of weather for that day. Um, and we paddled down to the southern part of Rum, in and amongst all the sea caves and cliffs and things, and then... Um, and then he stayed, stayed there at Dibbadil, it was a great little bothy and a little campsite at Dibbadil and then uh, paddled up to Kinloch for, for the final day um, to, uh, to head back, head back to Arasig. So The sea is a, a beautiful place, you know, there's kind of the things, the things you see out there and it always, always surprises you, those kind of surprise wildlife encounters or, or, or just the way the kind of sky is or, or the colour of things. Um, and being out there on the sea, it just kicks you into a kind of different, uh, different mindset really. And, uh, and you're, it's like a kind of instant wilderness. It's just, it's always a wild place, whether you're 10 meters from shore or 12 kilometers crossing to egg. The welcome that we received in Ullapool was really quite touching. We were invited to the primary school along with the student who had just journeyed round. And we spoke to the primary school children all about what the journey had been. That was then followed by them standing up and presenting poetry, art, stories, just an incredible array of things. We were overwhelmed, we were quite, um, quite blown away by it. And it was a, fun, it was a brilliant end to the, to the trip. The question we ask ourselves is what next? The world is um, awash with amazing ideas for great adventures and we certainly want the West Highland Adventure Trail to inspire future ideas and future adventures in different places. <laughs> <laughs>